Okay, so if we again, if we've got a container uh, with wa these walls, container walls that are applying um, these forces to the fluid and uh, causing a pressure inside this fluid, then there is an interaction pair between the force exerted by the wall on the fluid and the force exerted by the fluid on the wall. Okay, interaction pair. Okay, so that's the one thing that we need to see here is this interaction pair. Um, anything that comes into contact, therefore, with this, uh, with the fluid, will experience uh, a this pressure. Okay, and um, it is transmitted. This is important, guys. This pressure is transmitted in all directions to all parts of the fluid. Okay, and the this pressure or the forces are always perpendicular to the surface. Okay, because the as we've seen before, the fluids cannot sustain any shear stresses. Okay, so interaction pairs. Um, the pressure is exert is transmitted in all directions. Okay, that's that's all that we need to really see from this paragraph over here. Now. This is another interesting uh, observation. Uh, if we consider gases and liquids, uh, remember that what we said about a fluid is that if you apply this kind of bulk stress onto this liquid, then it obviously wants to resist with that interaction pair. And that kind of resistance is, is a positive pressure. Positive. Positive pressure. Okay, we're trying to compress the fluid, and the fluid is resisting. So inside the inside the fluid, there is this positive pressure. But so gases and liquids experience this positive pressure, but liquids can also sustain negative pressures. Okay, so again, what is positive? If you if there's a piston there and you're applying it down, so you you're applying this this force down, it um, it experiences a positive pressure, but uh, a liquid can also sustain a negative pressure. So if you turn that container upside down and you allow gravity to begin to pull down this piston over here, okay, then what you'll see is that the the liquid causes a negative pressure. Uh, you, we have this pressure that's um, negative and it applies these forces that are opposing this downward gravitational force. Okay, so it says here, because liquid particles exert attractive forces on each other and on the container walls, liquid can hold a, pis a piston up against the force of gravity. <clears throat> okay? So, liquid can sustain a negative pressure, but gases cannot sustain this negative pressure because these particles simply move into these gaps that are, that are, are being formed. Okay? So, what do we want to take away from this video? The second part is um, negative pressures and positive pressures. Liquids can sustain these negative pressures. Okay, cheers.